Hey everyone, Tara Melton here from Magnet Forensics. In this video I'm going to talk a little bit about USB analysis on a Windows system. We recently released a similar video showing how to go about analyzing connected USB devices on a Mac OS. So now here are some insights for a Windows OS as well. Your organization may not allow employees to connect USB devices to their endpoint, so if you suspect an individual is doing so maliciously to maybe exfil data, it's important to look at these artifacts in your case. I currently have a USB device connected to my forensic workstation with a software write block turned on that I believe may have been connected to my suspected employee's endpoint for malicious reasons. I'm going to go ahead and use Axiom Process to take an image of this device. I'm going to go through, select Acquire Evidence, and here you can see the serial number of that USB. From here I can continue to go through uh, and take a forensic image of that device, and then it's, you can see it's ready to image and I can process it for my case. Switching over to Axiom Examine, I have a case open with a number of different evidence items loaded. One is that uh, suspected USB device in question that I've already imaged and processed, and another is that user's endpoint. I want to determine if this device has been connected to this endpoint, so I'm going to switch over to the artifacts view. As you can see, um, when I switch over, the serial number is not something that typically gets pulled in an image because it's not stored within the data area itself. However, because I have access to the USB device in question, I was able to determine what that serial number was. Switching over to look at the Windows endpoint in my case, I'm now going to navigate to the operating system artifacts and then on USB devices. Here we can see the connected USB devices to the system and we can quickly identify that serial number of the device in question. So we do see some evidence that it was connected to the system, but keep in mind that some generic USB devices will have duplicate serial numbers across their devices, so it's not always a good idea to rely, rely solely on that serial number. Also note that if you see an ampersand as the second character in that serial number, it means the connected device didn't have a serial number and this number was generated by the system. Focusing in over on the evidence details, you can see, if I scroll down, that this information is being pulled from multiple locations in the operating system. We have some information being pulled from the system registry hive, uh, for example, uh, from USB store or uh, mounted devices here. If I scroll down, you can see we have information being parsed from the ntuser.dat as well, such as from mount points too. And then we also have information being pulled from this log file. One tip that can be useful when looking at these artifacts within Axiom is being able to be uh, to use the source linking between the artifacts view and other views within the interface. So for example, if I click on one of these registry keys that was parsed for this artifact, it switches right to the registry view and directly to where that key uh, was located. Going back to artifacts once again, I'm going to scroll down to that log file, and you can see if I click on this particular source link, it takes me right to the file system view, right to where that, lo that uh, file was located in the file system. Another tip within Axiom when in file system view, if you come across a file of interest, you can right click on that file and select view related artifacts. And when I do that, you can see that it switches me back over to the artifacts view and shows me any artifacts were, that were parsed out of that particular file. So in this case, you can see there's multiple USB device artifacts displayed from this log. So that's just a quick overview of some tips within Axiom when looking at USB devices on a Windows OS. If you haven't seen our other recent video about USB artifacts on a Mac OS, I encourage you to check that out as well. Thanks for watching, everyone.